David, here we are in uh, sunny Marbella. What's the training camp been like? Yeah, it's been good. I think it was important that we um, we came away. Obviously, it's been hard work, but um, it's been really relaxed. You know, it's, um, the manager not really put too much pressure on us when it's our own time. But as I say, it's double session. This heat, it's, you know, it's been difficult. The heat does seem to be a bit of a killer, but nobody's complaining. No, of course, no. It's a nice place to come. You know, I've been in a lot worse um, pre-season than this. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's nice and relaxed. What like the manager likes likes the way to work really. And um, but when we have been on a training training pitch, we've always um, worked extremely hard. So it's been difficult with the heat, but you know, every pre-season is difficult. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's an interesting one that it's Gary Rowett's first full pre-season as well. Um, what what have you made of it so far in in that respect? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, you know, his training was really good when he first came into the, the club last year, so nothing's really changed on, on that um, aspect. And, you know, the training's always going to be good, but um, we managed to bring in a few new lads, and obviously they need to get up to it, but we're still getting up to speed as well as, you know, just all finding our feet, really. But, yeah, it's been good, it's been nice and relaxed, but as I say, it's, it's been hard work. Four new players in so far, how have they been assimilated into the group? Yeah, I think it's probably an easy place to come in. You know, you've got all the lads that want to do well, and... Um, all pulling in the right direction, the same direction where we want to do really well and everyone's humble and, and grounded, so it's, it's, it's easy for them to come in. Mm -hmm. Confidence, um, is, is the confidence high about the, the coming season after the way that the, the team finished last year? Yeah, I hope so. I think, um, you, know, with the, you know, he's added extra quality, the manager has, and um, I think it's important that we, you know, maybe get a few more bodies in to, to boost our squad, but the quality we... We showed last year towards um, you know the end of the, end of the season. We showed what we can do, and um, hopefully that we can you know have a bright um, season coming ahead. What was the key to it? Because obviously before uh, the manager came in, there was a bit of a struggle. You were battling relegation, let's face it. But then six months later, tenth place finish and, and still on the rise. Yeah, I think even when you know Lee Clark was the manager. I we were playing, you know, extremely well for maybe 60, 70 minutes, but we couldn't really maintain it. And we'd, you know, give stupid goals away where we'd be leading or we'd be drawing, and we'd give stupid goals away. And I think that was the key. I think we were sort of a little bit naive, really. We didn't know how to manage the game, but the managers came in, got us well organised, and we always had the quality. We just needed to be, you know, had to be more organised, really. And I think, you know, the manager stamped his authority down, and everyone reacted in the in a positive way. What's the target for the forthcoming season and where are you looking to, to end it? Well um well I don't every every player looks at it different, you know. I think we're going to the season confident because obviously the lads that we've have stayed on from last year, um, we've kept quality and we as I say we've added that and I'm sure the manager will probably be looking to bring in a few extra players. Um and I think, you know, there's there's obviously gonna be offers for certain players as well in the squad. If we manage to keep hold of, of everyone then um I can't see we can't you know get near to the playoffs because you know I've seen Ipswich last year and I don't see them being a better team than us. So um, hopefully we can. As I say, it's important that we get an input, you know, a good start rather than like last year we were sort of fighting it towards the end where we, as you say, we were 23rd and then we managed to finish 10th. And I think it's important we have a good start and then we you know gain confidence and then anything can happen. And how did you assess your your own season, your first at Birmingham? There were plenty of positive, plenty of assists, plenty of goals. Yeah, I was, um, overall I was really happy and I was hoping to add maybe a few more goals. So I wanted to get uh, um, double figures, but that wasn't the case. And I think any you know seven to ten goals normally for a winger in the championship is 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 good going. And hopefully I can um, keep that up this season and get a, you know a few more assists as well. And you know just staying the team ready for hopefully I'll be going away with Wales in the next summer. Um out here in Marbella, we've watched you ping a few of your free kicks in in, in a little bit of downtime. Um, is the radar going to be back working next season? I hope so. That's the plan. I'm going to practice as always, like I, you know, like I do every season. Practice on my game, and you know, hopefully, as I say, I can get a near enough, or if not more, goals than what I did last season. And finally, you mentioned Wales there. Um, it could be an incredible season on the international front for you as well. Yeah, hopefully, I can. Stay in that squad, you know, it, it's the brightest future. We've got a chance to go to the Euros um, next summer, which is in France. So, you know, it's exciting times. I think it's like one of the only times that Wales have ever qualified for the Euros. So, um, you know, it's great being involved because, you know, every, it's for the first squad that I've been involved with there that everyone's pulling the same direction where we're all together. And um, we always knew that we'd probably come along eventually because we had all the youngsters and we were all, 
you know, grew up together really in that aspect with um, most of the qualifiers. So, and obviously we got Bale as well, which helps. <laughs> yeah, he's not bad, is he? No, he's all right. <laughs> and then just to sum, I mean, we've spoken to other players who came in last summer. Everyone seems to be very happy at, at Birmingham, very settled and, and enjoys, enjoys the club, enjoys the area. Yes, well, it's a great club, um, you know, that towards the end of the season when the fans saw that we were doing well, you can see what they can do. Hopefully, they, can, you know, if we put a good run together and we can get the numbers in early early doors, then, you know, anything can happen. But, you know, I think, as I say, the manager has created a, you know, this relaxing sort of environment where it's important everyone can express themselves as players and, and it's a great group of lads where everyone wants to do well. There's no egos here and I think that's really important.